Hey, so I'm here uh, with another uh, post-race interview and with no other than the new crowned world champions in the men's category. In oppressive manner, they are defending their title from last year. Somewhat slower uh, day today, uh, much tougher conditions due to the current, among other stuff, and, and also some incidents I know uh, they had during the, the course. But let's check in with Max and Hugo, who are your new world champions for the Swimmer World Championship 2023. First, big congratulations to uh, one more uh, impressive um, performance, guys. Max, how was it? Yeah, first of all, thank you so much. Uh, and today was uh, today was obviously a, a beautiful day when we reached the finish line. <laughs> At that point, I was really, really happy and really, really proud. Again, I think we said it last year that like pride is the feeling you you have when you cross the finish line, and, and happiness, obviously. But today was a was a tough day. We we really had to 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 work uh, hard together this year, and and uh, yeah, nothing really came easily so I'm um, super proud. Uh, we were starting at the first swim and I was doing the live coverage as I've been doing the whole day Hugo and there you gave us some action already at the first swim because I just hear myself saying oh Hugo is losing his paddles like that's you know that's the one person we think is gonna you know lead the whole for, <laughs> first swim and, and, and get a gap on the other teams uh, tell us what happens there entering the swim. Entering the swim, ah, <laughs> we we did a, a, a little trick. <laughs> we were searching to, to not get uh, into the water with everyone on our feet, so we we stopped by after the turn left, and we let them go and choose our own way. So it permits us to to go on our own way and not have everyone uh, under our feet. And finally, after like I would say 200 meters, I think Matthew saw us and then he it jump uh, into us mm. but it it permit that all the best teams were on the right side and we were the only one on the left side we, we had a team in the beginning in our feet mm. don't know who it is no. but uh, then then it's, it helps us a lot so it was actually tactical to to not you know go to uh, out too fast and, and so you didn't lose the paddle actually no did not lose any paddle no no it was uh it, it was like on purpose for Ho and uh, yeah wow what a show but but don't listen don't listen to this because then we cannot do it next year maybe you can find <laughs> other tricks in your pocket yeah so um yeah we saw you entering the exiting the sorry the first swim you were with Mathieu and for the viewers and for me you know wanting this you know entertaining action we're happy to see they really pushed you i know you have some incidents as well but just take us through you know the first 2 3 hours you were r running and swimming uh, side by side with them. I mean, they, they did a good job there in the beginning. Yeah, as I told yesterday, Matt and, and Tom are super, super strong swimmers and they were they, they were in our feet because they don't want to take the lead, but they were able to take the lead if they, if they would have. But uh, yeah, they were super impressive and even on the runs, they just for our back, uh, they were having a bit more trouble in the technical parts. But yeah, all the way they were super super strong and unfortunately they we, we dropped them on Namdo because uh, Matthew has a uh, trouble with his uh, sodium taps it blocks in his throat and uh, then he had a lot of salt in his throat so he, he finished to puke so after that he had to uh, know where we, who he was <laughs> where, where, where was this where was this um, I would say 200 meters after Namdo mm. beginning of Namdo mm. so at Namdo you were running with them together the whole Namdo we were running uh, behind them because uh, on Munko I, I twist my knee, uh, so they get a gap and they did the, the 900 swim, the 500 and then the last swim until Namdo, they were all in front of those one. And uh, on Namdo uh, this shit happened for them, so after, yeah, we we'll say maybe 500 meters maximum, uh, he, they had to deal with this because yeah, he, he throw away, he puke uh, everything he had. Oh, okay, I didn't hear that. So, but um, I mean, uh, super good there. We had three French people and one Swede in the in the front. It was good to have, you know, three French. The French swim run is really growing, huh? Yeah, growing super, super fast. Uh, and finally, uh, William and Alexi had a bad day. Uh, I, I heard that uh, Alexi had some trouble with the food from yesterday night. Mm. So they, his girlfriend had too. Yeah, both of them. Uh, even my brother had some trouble. So I, I think there was something with the food yesterday night, unfortunately. But that's kind of shit that happens. Yeah. But those guys were, are super, super strong. And even in the back, you're looking at the top 10 teams. There's a lot of French team 
uh, showing up and going faster and faster year by year. Yeah, and then uh, you just went through the course in uh, with flying colors, and it looks you know really easy following you on Una. And then we are uh, caught up with you at Long Belling Max, and uh, you know you had eight nine minutes lead, it felt comfortable, and then suddenly uh, Hugo decided to put some more drama uh, and and start stretching his um, his cough. Uh, you know, what are you feeling at this time? Yeah, Hugo was uh, cramping a little bit in his cough. Uh, I, to be honest, I wasn't too stressed about it. Uh, I, I felt that we, we still had a pretty good good gap. And, and, and all the day, I think, our goal was just to play it smart, don't stress. I mean, we, we definitely could have pushed harder, but then we probably would have blown up earlier. So, so we wanted to play it smart the whole way. And even there, I felt like, let's take time to just stretch this out and... and yeah, apparently we, we could start running pretty quickly, so it, it didn't lose too much time for us. Smart tactics from true champions, uh, and you made it all through the finish line with a good buffer and a great performance once again. So looking ahead now in the future, we're having a f uh, World Series taking place in France, in your home country, Hugo, uh, finishing off the World Series, and then we have five new races next year. Hugo, how do you look at the future? Uh, looking at the future, normally we, are, we will take part of can uh, just have to check up what's happening with my knee and if I will be able to, to do that but uh, that's the that's the plan and uh, to finish the year we will be in Tahiti uh, not Tahiti La Réunion sorry mm -hmm. uh, for last women uh, together and then I will move to Salomon Island because I'm coming from New Caledonia so I have, I'm having the Pacific Games and I will be doing the Aquaton race over there uh, and looking at next year uh, what are we doing <laughs> to be honest we haven't said anything about next year yet uh, but I think we both love swim run and we really like racing together so and I have to have someone to comment yeah, exactly <laughs> uh, and you're not alone but we want the stars to stay stay in the sport obviously so great having you here looking forward to follow your journey as you progress in the swim run and doing it you know as role models and happy to have you here and once again huge congratulations to great performance and once again defining defending the title as world champion at the swim run world champions here um, that was everything we had with the post race interview today thank you for watching the live go into the youtube look at the pre-race post race every interviews everything just gets inspired and yeah thank you for watching thank you for watching